An experienced test pilot, veteran, and native of Savannah, Illinois, will be part of NASA's next astronaut class. He is U.S. Air Force Major Cameron Jones, who joins us now to share a little bit more about this incredible accomplishment. Major Jones, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Really excited to talk to you guys. Yeah, we're really excited for you. Uh, what a unique opportunity. And first off, we want to thank you so much for your service. Can you tell us a little bit more about your experience so far in the Air Force? Yeah, so my background, I've uh, been Air Force officer since I graduated from University of Illinois in 2012. Uh, since then, I've moved all throughout the contiguous U.S. from Texas to Florida to Virginia, Alaska, California, D.C., and uh, now down here in Houston uh, for NASA. But uh, most recently, I was a test pilot flying the F-22 Raptor. Oh, wow. uh, and prior to that, I was a weapons officer. Uh, so like the Air Force's version of Top Gun, uh, flying the F-22 as well. So that's my background. All right, so as you mentioned, University of Illinois grad, you majored for both your bachelor's and master's in aerospace engineering. So you've probably had this lifelong interest in, in space and uh, really uh, becoming an astronaut. So has that been the case? Yeah, absolutely. So growing up in Savannah, uh, my dad was a private pilot, so that was kind of like my first taste of flight, uh, which got me hooked towards looking to the skies. I always liked math and science, had an affinity for those. And uh, Dale Gardner also went to Savannah High School, and he's a former astronaut. Oh, very uh, cool. And so I would walk down the hallways, and in the trophy case, there was always a, a lithograph with his name and picture on it for Dale Gardner. So that kind of gave me the, you know, maybe this is possible for someone from a town of 3,000 in rural Illinois to go do. Yeah. Uh, so I set my sights on it pretty young, and uh, I've been chasing it since. And, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed all the steps along the way. I've had awesome teachers, both in all the way down since grade school up through college and then into the Air Force, amazing instructors that have helped along the way. Yeah, sounds like they're going to have to put your name up there here pretty soon. So how does it feel <laughs> to be selected as one of the 8,000 people to become a NASA astronaut candidate? I mean, this is, this is not every chance that people get to be a part of this program. Yeah, I mean, like you talked about, uh, lifelong dream. There's luck and timing involved in all of it. Uh, and I know tons of other people that interviewed that are extremely qualified. Uh, and then the class of nine others that I'm with right now uh, that are astronaut candidates, amazing people. So I'm, I'm super grateful to be here joining the NASA team. Uh, excited to sink my teeth into what yeah. they're working on as they look on towards uh the moon and then someday Mars. Yeah, we're looking at uh, some photos of the other candidates there. So sounds like uh, you men and women are going to have your work cut out because this is a pretty vigorous program uh, there in Houston. What is it? Is it two years the program is? Yep, absolutely. It's two years of training. Uh, we'll do everything from continuing to fly high performance jet aircraft, uh, learning foreign language. Uh, we'll be doing robotics, other academics on things like the space station. Uh, we'll learn to dive in a spacesuit in something called the Neutral uh, Buoyancy Laboratory. Uh, so completely uh, different, a little bit of everything than just being a test pilot, uh, which was my previous career. Yeah. And I'm excited to leverage those experiences from my classmates that have uh, already dipped their toes into some of those specialties that can help me out. All right, so you should get done with this NASA class somewhere in 2027. So what are your hopes beyond that? Yeah, uh, for, for now, it's focus on the training. Uh, sure. Make sure that we can all get the entire class through, become full-fledged astronauts. Uh, and then after that, wherever NASA needs us to go, uh, we're just excited again to be part of that team. So whether it is in low Earth orbit, uh, whether it is onto the moon missions, or even further than that, I think any of the 10 of us would be more than excited to be part of those teams. And Major Jones, you know, I think a, a lot of young boys and girls, their dreams, you know, when they're five, six, seven years old, always to become an astronaut. What is your word of advice to those kids who, who think that, I wanna be an astronaut. What advice would you give them going into the future? Yeah, my advice would be, I was you. Um, <laughs> so it's possible to do. Uh, the things I would say is I wouldn't make life career decisions solely based on being an astronaut, but keep it in your sight picture and look towards it. Ultimately, you need to find something that you're incredibly passionate about. And if you do that, you'll be able to excel and then you'll become noticed for something like uh, NASA and astronaut candidacy. Yeah, reach for the stars and beyond. If you want to learn more about this year's astronaut candidate class, you can visit nasa.gov. Major Cameron Jones of Savannah, Illinois, thank you so much for spending some time with us and sharing this really big milestone. And, and we wish you the best of luck here over the next couple of years with that training. All right, great talking to you. Thank you.